Natalia got reworked in the advanced server and she has become the immune queen. Let's test her skills with different heroes and how she performs after her latest hey, adjustments. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will experiment with our new reworked Natalia with all types of heroes. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. Before jumping into experiment, let's do a quick recap on her adjustments. Natalia's main rework will be her passive and her skill too. Her camouflage state is back and it requires a very short time to activate. You can walk from one end of the bush to the other end and your passive is ready. Isn't that cool? The best part will be once active, until she takes damage, her camouflage state won't run out even if you stay out of the bushes. Her skill too got some major changes and now it makes her untargetable for heroes, enemy units and even towers. She cannot be marked with any skills if the enemy is outside the smoke bomb. Let's test her skills with different types of heroes. Let's take Saber as our first hero. Saber's first skill was dealing damage but as you saw, after using my second skill, I received no damage at all. Let's switch to Saber's point of view. For ten years, Saber can't use ultimate on Natalia's as she is untargetable. But if Saber comes inside the smoke bomb, he can use all his skills on me. Now let's take every squishy hero's late game nightmare, Eudora. Eudora can also easily cancel Natalia's camouflage state with her first skill, but when Natalia uses her second, Eudora does no damage at all. She cannot even use her second skill to stun me. It's like I am there in front of her, but still I am not there. Nothing is true. Truly Natalia uses her second skill when Eudora is inside the smoke bomb, then she can use all her skills on Natalia. So I guess we have some major changes in the way Natalia is played. Her usual enhanced basic attack and second skill combo to poke enemy MM will be dead now as her second skill is more like her survival skill which can be used when she is on the run. Let's take Papa Franco next. Give me names and I will give As you saw, Franco's hook went straight through me. He cannot even use his second or ultimate if he is just outside of the smoke bomb. I think Natalia took the Franco hooking Natalia's always very seriously. Let's take one of the most popular fighter for now, Ben. Natalia can easily be immune to all the Bane's skills now. And even the auto M when Ben uses his skills doesn't work on Natalia anymore. Let's test his famous shark waves. What? It's like I'm not even there for those sharks, they just pass through me. Wait a second. We are just 1.8k subscriber away from giving away 10 epic skins to 10 random people who commented on our videos. Push the like button, subscribe to our channel if you are not already subscribed and comment. You will also be eligible to participate. Hurry up as we are very close to reaching our goal. Let's take Leslie. Leslie's true damage can hurt a ton in the late game and there are hardly any ways to immune true damage. Well. Not for Natalia. She can easily immune to Leslie's basic attacks. Natalia can immune to her second skill if Leslie is out of her smoke bomb. She can also be immune to Leslie's ultimate shots. Wait, 
I forgot, here comes the camouflage sisters. Fate forced me to become an assassin. How can we forget Noveria? She is the best when revealing enemy positions with her ultimate. But Madame Natalia doesn't care. She can stand like a boss in her second skill and she won't be marked with Noveria's ultimate. The same applies to the first and second skill. You may be meta Noveria, but Natalia's time is also coming soon. Let's take Teresla as our next contestant. Terizla is a monster when it comes to close combat due to his continuous skill cast. If you stay outside the smoke bomb, you cannot even use Terizla's ultimate on Natalia. Terizla needs to be inside the smoke bomb to cast skills and deal any type of damage. Let's take CC heroes like Minotaur. As you see, if Mino uses first skill on the edge of the smoke bomb, he cannot knock up Natalia. Same goes for his ultimate. If Natalia moves out, she will get knocked up as you can see now. Now let's take another continuous damage dealer, Gord. Immunity for both first and second skill. Pretty cool. Good ultimate does no damage at all. I feel like Natalia's rework is too much. What can mages like God Eudora do against Natalia now? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Up next, one versus one challenger Yun. Yin can kidnap Natalia inside his ultimate domain, but if she uses her second skill nicely at the right time, then Yin will think twice before kidnapping her again. His skill 1 damage also activates only when he comes inside the smoke bomb. Let's take another 2 damage dealer, Carry. Carry's first skill seems to just pass through me. No auto attack activated on Carry's second skill dash. Now this rework is too much, even auto attacks won't work. I'm starting to see Natalia's on the ban list if she arrives like this in the original server. Cyclops is the best known for his immobilize on his ultimate, but Natalia can also cancel it. Cyclops skill 1 and 2 also doesn't deal any kind of damage outside the smoke area. All the counters of Natalia will now have to wait for her second skill to run out if they want to catch her. And at last, Kimi. Kimi first skill can no longer deal damage to Natalia. It's no surprise that she can immune to her basic attacks now. And also the ultimate will not give damage anymore. Natalia is going to be one scary assassin for squishy heroes in the late game now. Did you like the new reworked Natalia? Or do you prefer our old Natalia? Which hero do you think will best counter her now? Do comment down your thoughts in the comment section below. And with that, here are the 5 shoutouts from our previous video. Mugen Whitey, Lita Tu, Devinder, Jason and Jamika. That will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.